morning, Centurions. I'm AJ. And I'm Kayla. This is Channel 97 News. We hope you're having a great day. Let's check out lunch with Jackson. Today for lunch, we're going to have baked chicken with roll or Salisbury steak with roll. For our vegetables, you can have mashed potatoes and or green beans. For our fruit, we're going to have applesauce. Thanks, Jackson. Now let's check out the weather with Kaylin. Today will be today will be mostly cloudy with some showers and thunderstorms throughout the day, with a 62% chance of, of rain and high winds of 6 miles per hour. Today has a high of 81 and a low of 79. A raincoat or umbrella might be needed during morning hours. Sunrise starts at 7.05 a.m. and sets at 7.15 7, p.m. That's today's weather. Back to you in the studio. Let's hope we get our football game in this afternoon. Speaking of the football game, please remember to go home and come back for the game. Tickets are $2 for students and $4 for adults. Let's check in with Reese for more sports news. On Monday, the tennis team had a huge upset win over West Pine 5-4. Bella Edwards and Tucker Lloyd had big wins in their singles matches. The Centurions were down 4-2 going into doubles, having to win all three doubles matches to take the home lead. With Camden Dive led partner Dominic Rowett, along with Reese Lawrence and partner Bella Edwards, made easy work of their doubles matches, so it all came down to Tuck the Lloyd and Sawyer Manning. They were down five games to four in facing the match point. They battled back and ended up winning the next three games to win seven games to five, slowing the win for the Centurions. Their next match is Monday at Southern Middle. Softball also had a big win over West Pine, 18-3. Go Centurions! Back to the studio. Thank you, Reese. Remember, it's Wear Purple Wednesday, so wear your purple to the game and to school on Wednesday to support your, our Centurions. Now let's check out this day in history with Caitlin. We have a special guest for this day in history. Say hey, Mr. David. Hey! <laughs> on September 22, 1862, President Abraham Lincoln issues a preliminary Emancipation Proclamation, which sets a date for the freedom of more than 3 million enslaved in the United States and recast the Civil War as a fight against slavery. When the, war, when the Civil War broke out in 1861, shortly after Lincoln's inauguration as America's 16th president, he maintained that the war was about restoring the Union and not about slavery. He avoided issuing an anti-slavery proclamation immediately, as well as his personal belief that slavery was morally repugnant. Instead, Lincoln chose to move cautiously until he could gain wide support from the public for such a measure. Awesome report, Kaylin, and thanks to Mr. David for joining us in the studio. Thank you for watching Channel 97 News. Have, Have a, a great, great hump day. day. Welcome back to Student on the Street. I'm here with... Emily Alvin. And what grade are you in? Eight. Uh, what sports do you play? Softball, basketball, and volleyball. I heard you've been doing a project for the, the softball fields. Would you like to tell us about that? Uh, I made bat holders uh, to help out because the other ones were broken. Thank you. Thank you for doing this for our school. Have a good day, Centurions.